from so if here's a question from here's you. a question i want to ask go on before we get into one of these these Kung people, who you knew were the, uh, um, part of the Asiatics, which the whole whole world was called Asia. And if you were watching closely in the last video, you would see that the Hebrew language started off as what? An Afro-Asiatic language. It's all there. You got, you got to be maybe, paying maybe, attention. Maybe Pay attention because we'll put all the things there we might not say, Thanks but it'll be like. there. So if we put this word in the online etymology dictionary, which basically tells you what words meant at the time they were used. In the late 14th century, Asian referred to an inhabitant of Asia Minor. And then the word was swapped for the word Asiatic, which interestingly means to be eccentric, which was used in a derogatory fashion at that time. So to find out the truth, we must always go back. So in the 13th century, Latin Asia from the Greek Asia, speculated to be from Akkadian, Asu to go out to rise in reference to the sun. This little fact will make perfect sense in a moment. Afro-Asiatic languages, the language family, also known as Hamito-Semitic or Semito-Hamitic, a language family of about 400 languages spoken predominantly in Western Asia, North Africa, the Horn of Africa and parts of the Sahara and Sahel. Shall I give you a clue? So in reference to the etymology of the word Asia, it meant the land of sunrise or the land of the rising sun or literally means where the sun rises behind the Japanese flag. It is said that the red part of the Japanese flag symbolizes the sun. The supreme deity of Kojiki Amaterasu is the goddess of the sun. Since ancient times, the sun has been an object of faith which brings blessings to the people. As I always say to you, don't only check history, check the art. So let's do that. Here is evidence of a 17th century barbarian cookbook from Japan. Because if you didn't know, the barbarians and the Portuguese made trips to Japan even in its period of isolation. And as you can see from the great auctioneer, fine Japanese art and the trade was silk, furniture and people. In other words, the British, the Irish, the Europeans and the Asiatics all bought together in North Africa. For further understanding, look up the Tokugawa period or the Edo period. Which is why the Biafra used the national anthem, the land of the rising sun, due to the Asiatics brought there by the barbarians and the Portuguese, and so their culture remains there till this day. So out of the Afro-Asiatics, let's choose the Cushitic branch, a subfamily of the Afro-Asiatics compromising of various languages. The term apparently first used in 1903. Other words used for Cushitic are Kushlamortri, meaning darling, chiefly in Irish, Gaelic, Chrismortri, literally vein of my heart. Um, Queen Anne had written for her by Ben Johnson, which which is where she clearly states that the Egyptians were black. So as you can see at the top of the page, she says that Ethiopes were fair, which means beautiful all over the globe. Their complexions have changed because she came and started to make everybody look like her. And she says that their land must fall from seek his termination of the Greek sounds like Tarnia. And then she says, in search of this, have we three Princetons passed? that speak out Tarnia in their accents last, Black Mauritania first, and secondly, Swarth Lusitania. Next we did descry rich Aquitania and yet cannot find the place unto these longing nymphs designed, instructs and aid me great Oceanus, which is the Atlantic. What land is this now appears to us? This land that lifts into temperate air, his snowy cliff is Albion the Fair. Certain pages in this play that she did, 
she says, but they're basically the black, she black faced with all their friends. Yeah. Do you want to know why she did that? Because the point that she was trying to make, was she trying, trying to put in a play for her husband? She's saying that. He was James. Yeah, she's yeah. trying to keep his attention. In I'm going to kill her and her bastard son. Also from the book, she calls her husband Neptune's son. And she says he reigns in Albion, which is Britain, where she says the Niger were first inhabitants of originally Afro-Asiatics and the Ethiopian is the goddess of their shore. I was the queen of the heavens. The Royal Asiatic Society, previously called the Oriental Club, also says here, the society extends far beyond India, all of Asia and into Islamic North Africa and Ethiopia. Believe it or not, this is Queen Anne. She changed her religion to Roman Catholicism and embarrassed her husband, King James. And in this piece, she mentions transporting them into the hands of the Moor. Also in this piece, Shakespeare refers to the Egyptians as the Gypsies. Likewise, as the Oromo, who are part of the Cushiti people and are described as strangers, possibly from Venezuela in South America. And going back to Kushlamore tree to give more insight on the Irish Cushitic people, the concept isn't a new one. Many scholars have spoken about the Celts, who were black and from Ireland, most commonly known as leprechauns. Here's the thing that people don't understand about this genocide. Due to the way that people spoke, the snakes represent the Niger, the same Niger that Queen Anne speaks about in her book, The Mask of Blackness. What she says is that they had a period there, but they are to be driven out. Now, if you did not know, this is a bust of Cleopatra. Now, we have not even spoken of Scotland yet. Anyhow, if you look at her headdress, you will notice the snake. Once again, Queen Anne mentions the serpent's feet in regards to the Niger. But she also says is that the Niger came in the form of the Ethiopian and further the Ethiopian whitewash. Remember, she said it wasn't about the colour, but the features that made them beautiful. The truth is, ancient people have diverse hair, complexions, and features. to the invasion of the barbarians of North Africa, the identity of people has become diluted. We must remember she also says that the Egyptians and the Ethiopians are relatives. Honestly, to don off every argument, read Queen Anne's books. The struggles of the Irish continued throughout history. There was even a ship called the Serpent. If you'd like more information, go here. For people saying that slavery did not happen for white Europeans, here is the evidence of ships with their names, where they departed from, where they were going, how long it took. You've got the Eagle, Africa, Jupiter, Huntress, Shamrock. This one, 1811, 6th of July. Belfast, London, Derin, Newey, Algernon. And looky here, what do we have? Kushlamar tree. Look at that. Departed 1st of March, 1849, and it took 27 days. Here you have everybody that was on the ship too. 